In order to add learning activities and resources to your course, or even to change the wording and description in your course sections, you need to have the editing turned on. So let's take a look at that now and see what the editing icons mean and do. We turn the editing on either by clicking the button top right or by going to the administration block and clicking the link turn editing on. Icons appear then in the blocks and against each activity or resource which we have. So let's zoom in and take a look at them. Your theme may have different editing icons from this, but they will be in the same order. The first icon, which here looks like a pencil, if you click it, it allows you immediately to change the title of a particular resource or activity. Then click enter and you've changed it very quickly. The arrow allows you to indent an activity or resource to the right or then back to the left. And the icon which looks like a crosshairs icon, when you click on it, you can drag an activity or resource into a different location. If you don't see this, but you see two arrows, one up and one down, it's worth asking your administrator to check your browser settings or the Moodle site settings. The next icon allows you to go into the edit screen for the resource and activity and update it in more detail. The icon next allows you to make a quick copy of a resource or an activity to duplicate it, for example, for a different class or group. And the next icon, the X, is for deleting. So for example, if we go over to the search forums block on the left here, if we click it with the X, we're then asked whether we're sure that we want to delete this block. And when we click yes, it's gone. In the case of blocks, we can add blocks back again by clicking the add a block drop down and selecting it. We'll look at blocks in another video later. The I enables you to hide a resource or activity from a student or a learner. And we can check this by clicking it. Now you can see the I has a line through it. Then if we go down to the administration block, to the very bottom, there is a link switch role to. And as a teacher, we can switch our role amongst others to a student or a learner as we've renamed it in this course. This then redisplays the course page as our student or learner would see it. And the announcements are nowhere to be seen because we've hidden them. So if we go back in the administration block and click to return to my normal role, we'll then remember to turn the editing on again. We can see that the announcements block hasn't vanished, it's just that we hid it with the icon. Finally, the icons at the end relate to groups and roles, something which we won't go into in too much detail in this Teaching with Moodle introduction course.